Katie Eggerman. I'm from Brookfield, Missouri. I go to the University of Missouri in Columbia. And what am I doing here? Uh, just what do you do in general? I study a lot and I like to hang out with my friends mostly. One of my favorite things is to have dinner parties to cook for them and try to make what I see on the Food Network. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but it's kind of trial and error. And I always am up for watching a movie. Oh, ah, great. Step cool. the vivacious Leah. Hello. Hello, hello. Little, uh, little quick bio, intro, where are you from, what you doing? Well, I'm currently from California, where I live in San Luis Obispo when I go to school at Cal Poly. Um, but I'm from Sunnyvale, which is between San Francisco and San Jose. Wow, that was a lot better than Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Miami, but I go to the University of the Southeast. Um, I like to snowboard, get snowboard, and I'm excited about that. And uh, what else do you do? Uh, just what do you do in general? Go to school. Go to school. I work two jobs. Oh, no. Um, I'm an English major. I'm a novelist. I already said I'm a film and, um, and my birthday is next week. Oh, really? How old are you? Very nice, very nice. Milestone. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. Because when I arrive, I bring the fire, make you come alive. My name is Zach Heimbegner, your Area 3 SAC. Um, I am currently taking classes at Ames Community College, going towards a comm media degree. Um, I am currently holding down a couple of jobs. I work for Circus City, I work for Ames as a My Life Peer Educator, and um, I am also the executive producer of my own TV show. My name is Jenny Siski. I am a biomedical science major at Marquette University. I'm a junior and I'm originally from Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, everyone always asks this since I'm from Wisconsin, do you like cheese? Obviously, but so does like 99% of America. My boyfriend does Fine. Well, He's dude. lactose intolerant too, though. <laughs> See, so, um, <laughs> do I live on a farm? No, I do not live on a farm. I live in a house in the city. My aunt lives on a farm. Don't worry about that. Um, what else? Do I go hunting? No. So, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. I live in Wisconsin. Actually, I just work at the library. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, you must be reeling in the food box. Just kidding. Dinner, dinner's on this girl tonight. <laughs> Very nice. In that case, uh, what uh, peer education group are you part of? Bar. It stands for BA Responsible Road Runner. Right here. Okay. Um, okay. I'm a Jordan. I'm a Jordan LeBron. I'm from Baldwin Wallace College in Ohio, like 20 minutes from Cleveland. What's the other question? Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? And what do you do? I'm a student studying sociology and criminal justice, and I work in the student affairs office. Oh. My name is Allie Garris. I'm originally from Rhode Island, but I go to school in Memphis, Tennessee. Very nice. So what do you do? What do you do? Um, I am a history major in pre-med. Yeah. Oh, that's not necessarily related, but still cool. Uh, my name's Ramon. I'm from Miami. Uh, majoring in political science and journalism. I go to the University of Miami. Uh, Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Chester, New York, but I go to school in Bristol, Rhode Island, and I just got back from 10 
It's in California where I got to lay on the so beach and do nothing in 90 degree weather and it was so, real, so, so much nicer than here. Very, here. <laughs> Very <laughs> nice, <laughs> California. I'm um, communication major and political science minor and I just made Dean's list for the first time and I like to brag about it because I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania. No. What else did you do? Uh, just anything, any fun fact you might want to throw in there. Um. Oh, that's very interesting. There's a lot. I don't know where to start. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go with um. What do you like to do just uh in your free time? Oh, that's boring. I just hang out with my boyfriend 24/7. Yeah, that is boring. Let's say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, get a quick so, insight on the market, man. Where are you from? What you doing? What you doing? Passing in Maryland and chilling. Yeah, where? Denver. No, not where are you? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guinea pig for this interview. <laughs> you are. You are. You're the guinea pig for uh, the rest of these members as well as for myself to find out good camera angles and to get rid of my fresca shake. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you are from area 12, Prospect State University, which is located in Western Maryland. So you don't know where that is. Next question. No, that's pretty much the whole thing. Well, I can't. Selfish, so maybe like minority. Yeah. That would be a good one. I love that. Oh, that would be kind of fun. No, I'd like that. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of people from Heroes. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think of which one's the best. I I rarely watch it with Sam, but, <laughs> but I guess I'd have to go with mind reading for now on a short term basis. First thing that comes to mind. Like, to stretch out the uh, Fantastic Four guy. Which what? To stretch out the uh, Fantastic Four guy. Oh, Mr. Fantastic Style. Is, is that his name? That is his name, my friend. Like I have a lot of time to it. <laughs> Well, I want actually more time manipulation. That's it. Time manipulation. That way I could not only travel, but I could smell Here comes the super hard part. Okay. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I'd fly. Fly? Awesome. Well, that is recording the history for And you already know the super hard question. What do you got? But I could have any superpower. I think we were like, I'm in um, at um, my school. I'm going to say we're best Oh, really? Invisibility. Interesting. As in, like, what your touch is invisible or just your face? Yes. Um, me. And that could be anywhere. Nifty. Awesome. When did you start your turn? Yeah, I wasn't even. Like, did you I don't know, maybe or? transparency. And like invisibility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Excellent. So, transparency, are you like that uh, little girl from Rugrats who will be dotted line girl? Oh, Is that, that would be cool. I love the Rugrats. Of course, you've been asking everyone a very hard question. One that takes a lot of concentration, a lot of, a lot of focus. Okay, are you ready? Are you yeah. collected? Okay. Uh, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Oh, heck yeah, man. Like, fly. Because let's just like, I can just like fly down and stuff and like almost hit the ground and I won't. I'll just go like that. Fly. Or, or maybe invisible. Or invisible. Yeah. Fly and invisible. I mix them together. Oh dear. But how'd you know? Um, no, I got that. That's not a part of the question. You're ready. Invisibility. College only have one building, so that's the whole building. Uh huh. Very nice. Only because I'm afraid of heights. Flying outside of the airplane kind of scares me. Oh, afraid of heights. That's interesting. So invisible, but not invisible yet. It's good to know. Rise together, we 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 rise together, we